I made it to Times Square. Let's check it out, but I can't wait to leave. Should I be the new naked cowboy? Well, we've made it. We're in Times Square, New York City. And um, also, I just want to point out a giant gravestone in the middle of Times Square. What is this? Lieutenant Colonel Francis D. Buffy, a Catholic priest. People are trying to eat a bubblegum shrimp, and we got to remind a priest is dead. Like, there's a time and a place. Oh my god, is that it? An Olive Garden in Times Square. And you know who would love this is Nick. This is Cleveland's version of Central Park. We're at the Olive Garden in Times Square, and they've changed it. Is that J-Lo above us? What deal with the devil did J-Lo make? Why does she look so good? What is this? How how old is she? 28, 42, 62, 100? Now it says, we're all family here. No, no, I remember when you thought you were selling to Italians. Hey, when you hear you family, and now we're all family? I don't know. Like a weird Christmas village in the middle of New York. I've never even seen this before. Just like knickknacks. You know what it is? My nonna would love this. All Italian grandmothers have like fruit on their fridge. I have never been in the M&M store. This is actually my size. It's extra small. So the M&M store is a bunch of shirts. I think they got rid of that slut M&M. Remember there was like the green M&M who was like, Hey boys, you want to suck on me? I'll melt in your mouth. And now she's like a librarian. I mean, it's fine to have an M&M that's kind of a slut. Baby, nah, this is ridiculous. What's your favorite kind of M&M? Pretzel? They have pretzel M&M's? <gasps> oh, here's all the M&M's. Okay, they're really trying to make this look like really Wonka in the Chalka Factory, but I'm gonna say like 10% of the store is M&M's and the rest of it is just t-shirts, which honestly, sir. So how does this work? We just pick the M&M's we like? Yep. Crunchy cookie, crispy, Almond. Who the hell is getting almond M&M? Am I wrong? Of all the flavors, you're almond. If you're gonna indulge, indulge. We're not doing almond M&Ms. Is there a bag? How do I get them? Oh, I see. It's like a grocery store, but not healthy. All right, we're gonna do peanut butter, and then we're gonna do... How does this work? Mint, crispy, caramel, mini, dark chocolate, romance, Skittle. They have Skittle M&M's? I don't think they have your pretzel M&M's. Where are they? So many different types of M&M's. They have M&M chocolate bars? This is ridiculous. So this M&M is sort of like the dumb M&M, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm just... This is the M&M that smokes weed. What's up? I'm just... I'm blue. I'm hanging out. If I was the M&M, I'd be, I'd be this one, the mischievous one. The one that's like, we gotta get to work. Because remember, like, they were... They, the yellow and red M&M really honestly have been working since the 70s. Like, they've been working their asses off. Mm -hmm. Look at the green M&M. Hey, boys. What's up? Can I get a hot dog ketchup only? <laughs> no, just ketchup. That's it. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have a New York hot dog. I'm actually a, such a Chicago stan, I'm gonna have my first New York hot dog. Chicago's better. Are you Mateo? I am. Oh, that's so fun. Hello. Oh, thank you. It's always the compliment I get is I love you online because Netflix won't give me a special. I just saw a grown man, no shade, walk into a strip club at four o'clock in the afternoon in Times Square with a vanilla ice cream cone. I don't know what low looks like, but that's, you hit it. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. What's up? Damn, there's so much like, this is like so much stuff. I don't even know what I'm looking, I'm, over I'm more overwhelmed in this store than I am in Times Square. All these bulls are ready to bottom. Every single one of them. Apparently pink dinosaurs love New York. Gay squirrels love New York. All these are gay. Look at these are gay dogs. They just got their nails done. A gay squirrel, a gay chipmunk. Hey, sister friend. Hey, squirrel friends. Okay, do you think they're gonna have Mateo? We have Philip, we have Matt, Morgan, we've got Mike, Monica. Where's Mateo? I feel like that Simpsons episode, like, oh, they don't have any Bart. Bort? Who's named Bort? Uh, my son's also named Bort. We named Bort, Bort, license, place. There's a specific type of gay that would wear this, and that gay is Frankie Grande. I just want to say that as a gay child, I would have loved this. Anything that sparkled like this, I would have loved this as a gay child. This would have been my Sailor Moon. Mo oh, this one's broken. Don't try and sell me this. Here, let's get a nice one. This would have been like my Sailor Moon, like... Darian. I, oh, Sailor Moon. Cosmic Moon Power. I would have loved it. If they don't have Mateo, I'm gonna lose it. Jamie, Joe, Joel, Janet, John, Isabel, Matthew, Kyla, Kayla, Kari. They have Juanita. So they have some Latin names. Oh, they have a Hershey's store. I mean, it looks like a shitty version of the M&M store. Oh my god, there's a line! The most poppin' place in Times Square. Alright, put the camera down so she doesn't see. I used to love the Disney store when I was a kid, and you know what wasn't fair is I loved Maleficent. But when I was a kid, we didn't have any of that kind of stuff. Oh my god, you could get all this cool shit. Oh, I'm gonna buy something Sleeping Beauty. If I see anything Maleficent, I'm getting it. Oh my god, look at this mask. I'm gonna bring this mask to like a sex party. I'm gonna walk in and everyone's gonna have like the black leather masks. I'm gonna walk in as Zerg from Buzz Lightyear. I don't know how much dick I would get. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's find a Buzz Lightyear outfit. <gasps> I used to have this. 
Oh my god, do you remember this? I used to love this. Who would have thought the Disney store would actually make me happy? I'm gonna say something else controversial. I'm not a big fan of The Little Mermaid. I like Ursula, but the movie itself made me feel like, ugh. Oh, they have a whole Star Wars section. It's over. It's traffic jams even in the store in Times Square. Oh, forget it. The sex party, I'm walking in with a fucking Boba Fett. Or Boba Fett, however you say. Ugh, Star Wars, I'm in love. Okay, I don't see anything Maleficent. What is this? Where is she? That's how much Disney's been taken over by Marvel and Star Wars that there's no Maleficent? There's no Maleficent? When I was a kid, even when I was a kid, there was Maleficent. You know what? Fuck this place. Although it did make me happy. So you quiero mango con limón y tajín? Yeah, lo quiero. Por favor. Uh, mango con limón y tajín, por favor. ¿Qué es eso? There's an air conditioner raining on me. ¿Tienes una cosa que yo puedo usar a comerlo o no? Sí. Okay. Muchas gracias. Gracias. This is Mexican heaven. This is like a natural Sour Patch Kid. I don't know how else to describe My mouth is watering right now. I need some. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. I don't know why this isn't more popular in America. Times Square it almost feels like an adventure. I mean, I usually walk by and then we started going in stores and I'm like, this place gets crazier and crazier. It's just so much, it's so overwhelming and I don't know who enjoys it. Like, I would go see The Lion King. I would be really excited. I would see it. You know, and it makes more sense like adults walking around in animal costumes that are designed to be interesting looking. Not like cats where everyone looks like they just have hep C. This is Junior's Bakery. Now Junior's is really known for their cheesecake, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care how many Junior's are in this city. The best cheesecake is at Venario's on 1st Avenue and I think 11th Street. They literally just take a chocolate cake and then they put a cheesecake and then they chop it up like, here's your slice. I'm like, we have enough issues in this country. We can't be adding chocolate cake to cheesecake. We went to this Broadway shop. We're like, well, we can go walk around and talk about Broadway. We walked in. It was about two feet by four feet and just one homosexual reading a playbill going, hello. We're like, well, we can't film here. They've changed the sound on Broadway shows. They've gotten rid of baritone voices. So there's no more like, Oklahoma, where the wind blows. Like, everything is up here and I don't know why. So this is Sardi's. This is a famous New York restaurant where back in the day, if you were famous enough, they would put your portrait on the wall. Well, I ate here one time with four other homosexuals and I said, I want to sit at the table with Liza Minnelli. Just because I look so much like her, I thought someone might confuse us. Miss Minnelli? Oh, thank you. This is my impression of a heterosexual man walking. This is my impression of a homosexual in New York walking. Follow me on Instagram, Mateo Lane. Well, we made it. You saw Times Square, so if you're coming to New York City, you know what to look for. A Star Wars outfit for a sex party, and uh, some mango with tahini. Actually, the mango with tahini was the best part.